the Occupy Wall Street movement, coupled with a lot of various organizations such as SEIU, have decided that capitalism is evil and that that is their goal to actually eliminate capitalism this fall. They want to occupy homes, like to occupy banks, take out all of their money, put them in uh, credit unions and those types of things. But do you find, do you think that such a small group, seemingly compared to the rest of the population, could succeed? Well, I, I, think, I think that the level of education in our country gives them more hope. That is, I mean, for someone to say that uh, <clears throat> that they want to get rid of capitalism in the name of humanity, it has to be grossly stupid. I mean, that is, if you, if you, if there's a simple experiment that you can do. That is, you can, you can rank countries according to whether they're more towards the capitalist end or the communist end of the, uh, of the economic spectrum. And then having done so, rank countries according to international amnesties human rights protections, then rank countries according to per capita income and the welfare of their citizens, and you'll find a strange thing that's not a coincidence, that is those countries that are more towards the free market end of the economic spectrum, they, their citizens are richer and their citizens uh, have greater human rights protections. Those countries towards the communist end of the political spectrum those citizens are very poor and they have very, very restricted uh, liberties. And so, uh, in some ways, the Occupy Wall Street people are right in the following sense. That is, but they, don't, they, but they shouldn't be on Wall Street. They should be in front of the United States Congress, uh, by Congress giving bailouts, Congress playing favorites, Congress giving subsidies, welfare, you know, corporate welfare. and. And if they're protesting against those things, I can stand. I can stand with them. But when they start talking about, well, we got to get rid of uh, capitalism, I think that's a grossly uh, uh, stupid error. And then, then moreover, the, the the you you see some signs of their supporting communism, and communism has has been the enemy of mankind, particularly in the. Uh, in the 20th century, and there's there's a book uh, written. It's called uh, "Death by Government" by a professor uh, Hummel in, uh, in in Honolulu, and he's pointed out that uh, the 19th century, I mean the 20th century, has the most been the most brutal century in mankind's history, and the and the leaders of that brutal century are Hitler, who was responsible for around 18 million people, mm -hmm. but he's just a piker. Compared yeah. to Stalin, Stalin, which is responsible, who's responsible for about 65 million dead people, and Mao Zedong is responsible for even more than that. And so the great murders of mankind's, uh, throughout mankind's history, have been to the people, have been the people that the walls, that the Occupy Wall Street uh, hold admiration for. Absolutely, the, because the, they've socialists like and communists. the the inequality. That's that's their primary focus mm -hmm. right now is is to to even out the playing field and to allow everyone to have um, you know equal access to money mm -hmm. is basically it. And you know we've proven as a country, I think, um, through the wisdom of our founding fathers, mm -hmm. to give us the freedom. Mm -hmm to develop ourselves and be responsible for ourselves, to make our own future, um, and to leave that to government, uh, and to, to put more power in their hands, obviously, in my opinion, yeah. would be extremely detrimental. And, and then also, that you just, just look at how people vote with their feet. That is, people, it, people have been running uh, from North Korea to South Korea, running from um, East Berlin to West Berlin, running from Cuba to the United States. You don't find the traffic going the, op, op, uh, the other not direction. Not too much. <laughs> People not running from Hong Kong uh, to, to China mm -hmm. or from Taiwan 
to mainland China. People are not running from South Korea to North Korea. And that we have. I mean, and so you have like, to ask why. Yeah, why? And you, you have. Because this is no, a no, recent no, and ongoing these are, these, experiment. You have to ask why, because these are the very countries mouthing the rhetoric of the Wall Street occupiers about mm -hmm. equality and justice and social justice. Well, how come people are not running uh, in the direction, of, how come people did not run in the direction uh, of the Soviet Union, of the China, Northern, North Korea and, and East Berlin? Well, it's amazing. I heard recently that uh, a number of the, the second generation Cuban immigrants mm -hmm. in Southern Florida um, have sort of moved away from the more conservative notions of their parents who immigrated mm -hmm. and, and came from uh, the, the just aggressive um, communist mm -hmm. uh, approach that they were living under where they had everything taken from them um, to make it a more equal society and, and fair society. And, and yet it's just not, it's one generation away. Mm -hmm. And yet there's a lack of appreciation as well, to how it, severe it was. It, it's not unusual at all. I mean, in, in, in South Korea, Mm -hmm. The younger people in South Korea are talking about um, uh, <coughs> unifying with North Korea, but not the people, not the older people who saw the, who, who witnessed and the horrible atrocities uh, during the Korean War sure. and prior to the Korean War. And so that's one of the problems uh, with, uh, with mankind, uh, 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 young people, uh, they forget. And also the very fact that we don't teach them the history. Uh, that is, colleges and high schools have been derelict in their job of teaching history. And so instead of teaching history, they teach about uh, uh, saving the polar bear uh, or, mm -hmm. or that uh, kind yes. of stuff. The eco-friendly <laughs> yeah, eco history. Friendly. And, and then on top of it, <laughs> saving the polar bear, I was talking to one person, the polar bear is one of the most vicious and nastiest <laughs> animals on the face of Earth. They look cute. And